Hi folks, welcome to this video which is showing the midiization, there's a posh word, of this spectacular piece of music making machinery, this 101 key book playing concert organ, Diamond. Now, the new owner of this, as well as obviously playing the organ from cardboard, is quite keen that the organ can be played electronically. This will extend the repertoire because it can be played from a computer and being in a trailer it's quite a weight so we don't want too much weight in cardboard it's quite advantageous to have the computer playing some of the music as well but as a bonus to that it will also mean the organ can be played from any standard MIDI instrument so I'm going to have a setup with uh, MIDI uh, keyboards so that you can effectively play the organ from a MIDI keyboard which is quite posh indeed um, I'm going to have a go when I finish the conversion with my MIDI accordion as well so look out for a video on that but there we go a MIDI organ is born okay we'll just show the organ playing on traditional cardboard this is before the MIDI system that one will do what's that pin up club a nice one step Show you a bit of work in progress. Oh, we've got bits of organ everywhere. That's the keyframe. And I have some TLC on that when I can put it on the bench. And it's loose. Um, light would help, wouldn't it? There we go. Look at that. Let's see what I'm doing now. Well, there we go. That's where the keyframe was. Uh, it's going to go back in roughly the same place. I'll try and get it a bit higher so we can play some longer books without bending the cardboard. But in between the keyframe and the original relay, we've got that relay chest there, which is something I've spent a good while making. That's a MIDI conversion, and that will basically interface between the keyframe and the original primary relay, um, which is this chest here. Quite, uh, quite clever, this split into three sections, because this centre section, you can see all the tubes coming off here, Apologies, the zoom's a little bit out. Um, this is uh, it's got its wind supply coming down this tube, which goes straight to a tremolo unit. So that will do all the melody notes on the the action uh, there, which is quite posh actually. Um, a clever way of doing it, rather than doing it on the main air supply for each individual wind chest. It's done on the first action stage, and then these two obviously will have. Um, constant wind supply either side. Uh, they actually also operate um, as a relay for the register chest here, the register box. Um, quite clever that as well, it just amplifies the signal up. Um, but there we go. Um, blower, obviously. We've got our accompaniment pipes there. Stop flute, deeper stop flute, octave lower and the 
cellos there at the back. Um, same this side, six notes either side, chromatic. We've got the bass cellos up in the roof there, again six either side. Big bass pipes are underneath, that's the bass section, 12 notes chromatic. Uh, we've got some saxophones here, which along with those stop flutes form the uh, baritone register there on the counter melody. Um, you can see here, because we've been short of space, uh, that's your last note there and this chest arrangement here works it up and brings it to out there so they can overlap. We've got some, uh, on the counter melody, we've got some open flutes there um, and we've got, they are the vibratone. Um, of course got cellos and cello grave on the end. There are the cellos, cello grave are the big painted cellos at the front, that just means a deepened cello effectively. Um, if we were looking at the melody, we've got these, they're sort of cellos really, they are cellos, but you've got your violin register effectively, you've got two octave and these rank of deeper pipes at the back. Um, oh, that's interesting, you see, just to squeeze that one in, that's had to be mitered. Obviously your glockenspiel on melody, you've also got vibratones there, which are the ones with a pneumatic on the back. I can just show you there. And there is the uh, jazz flutes at the front. I've also got a pneumatic on the back to make them warble. But they're the ones with the chimneys and these stop ones have a little diaphragm. See if I can lean through and show you the diaphragm. So you can see them on the front there. That should be diaphragm. Gives it a sort of uh, nasally sound as that vibrates. Um, but yeah, uh, I think you can see the guts of the organ a bit better from this stage. There's also the um, rank of pipes at the front on the melody, which are called baxophones. Um, I'll squeeze out and show you that, I might as well. And you see keyframe, snare drum. See, these are the cello rank on the counter melody. Your cello grave there, basically. A lot deeper, quite useful for some of the foundation. Um, counter melodies that you can get going. That's your saxophone rank there. Um, it's rather unusual. Pioneered by Mortier, that type of pipe, I believe. Um, it is a reed and uh, effectively blowing through, but it's stopped. And some open flutes at the back there. Give it, uh, give it the full mixture. But there we go. Um, you can see those jazz flutes at the front a little bit more clearly now. And as I say, the violin rank there. And these are those vibratones, which are also on the counter melody there. Worth pointing that out. Um, there we go. Um, right, I'd better carry on with the job, hadn't I? next time on A MIDI Organ Is Born.